Today we are talking about factoring and not just any factoring company, we are talking about RTS. Hi, my name is Ennis, I'm uh, from Never Stop Trucking, if this is your first time here, and today I have a special treat for you. I'm talking to my buddy Amel from RTS. I think this is uh, different uh, from what I've done before. Uh, this is uh, kind of like an interview, and uh, also he will tell us uh, firsthand about factoring and then about RTS and what they actually do. Most of the videos you see on YouTube about factoring, about from their experience, and uh, they would talk about why factor and uh, what it actually means to do business that way. But today we have someone who actually works in a RTS factoring company, and then he is going to explain to us how everything works, so why would you want to factor, and how they can uh, set you up uh, with their services. Now, I know there are a lot of factoring companies out there, there are hundreds of them, but RTS is the only one that I would uh, actually recommend. Uh, they have been in business for a long time now, and uh, I actually worked with them for a long time too. And uh, I know them, I know where they are, I know how they work, on, I know their interface, and uh, I know they're honest people. So that's why I'm recommending them. As you know, I don't recommend services that I am not using or that I have not been using before. And then I would also not recommend uh, someone to you uh, that uh, is known for doing bad business, uh, for bad practices. I don't want to uh, tell you go uh, use someone unless I know that they're good. Okay, so that's my point. Now, uh, let's uh, go over to that interview that I did uh, via Zoom uh, with Amel, and then uh, we're going to ask him some questions, and he's going to tell us about factoring and about uh, what they do. Uh, before we do that, the link is in description. If you feel like this is something for you, uh, then go ahead and uh, check them out. We are here with Amel and uh, he's from RTS and he was nice to do this uh, Zoom meeting and then explain to us about uh, the way his, uh, the company that he works for works and uh, what they offer. Uh, he works mainly uh, with factoring but he can also walk us through uh, fuel side of it, fuel discounts. And then they also have uh, other cool things uh, that they're going to introduce to us today. So uh, let's, uh, let's start. So Amel, uh, tell us a little bit about the uh, history of uh, RTS and uh, what you guys do. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we were founded in 1986. Uh, we started originally as Ryan Transportation, uh, the brokerage. Uh, many of you have probably hopefully heard of it. Uh, one of the oldest, largest brokerages in the U.S., but that really grew into where we're at today. So um, several years after after that, after the brokerage, we started RTS Financial, which is our, our factoring uh, division. And not long after that, we started RTS Carrier Services. That's our, our fuel programs are, are through that uh, division. And then we, we also factor internationally through RTS International. And we have a software side as well where we're able to uh, help trucking companies or oil field companies with a TMS system it helps them kind of track everything from a, from a software side of things. But RTS Financial, I mean, yeah, we've been in business for a little over 25 years, um, primarily in, in the trucking and, and oil field space. Um, we do over 70,000 you know, transactions every single day. Um, I mean, our got a little north of 60,000 carriers that are in our network. Um, but uh, as far as what factoring kind of is and, and how it really helps, you know, anybody that's looking to any company that's looking to improve their cash flow or is just looking for that back office support, um, companies that really want to grow their business, um, that's where factoring is going to be a, a great solution um, uh, to help the, help the business out. Um, what really separates us is our, our technology, uh, our customer service, and, and, you know, our rates are really competitive. Uh, we're one of the few companies I and mean, we have over 30 different you know, languages, three different uh, teams that speak over 30 different languages that, that work for us. Um, and, uh, you know, on the, on the uh, mobile app, um, our technology side, I mean, we, we offer our clients the factoring side, uh, fuel savings, credit broker system, as well as a private load board. 
that they're able to um, you know haul directly through Ryan Transportation, our brokerage. So all in all, um, you know we're we're able to offer all that all of that uh, really just you know, be competitive to to our clients and and offer them something that helps them grow their business. That load board, um, I was not aware about that until the other day. How does that work? So once someone re- uh, starts factoring with you, they get an access to your portal, and then uh, additionally they can use uh, the load board. Correct. Yep. Anytime. Uh, so we we give you know access to uh, free to use there there's an, absolutely no fee for it but we give all of our clients kind of the first come first serve access to our, our private load board and that's located on our app um, there's over 10,000 uh, loads on there daily um, and it's all through Ryan transportation our brokerage so yeah, just another you know tool tool in the shed so to speak that that our clients are, are able to utilize uh, once they become clients of ours so RTS Carrier Services is our fuel program. Um, our fuel side of things, we, we help clients save on fuel. Uh, our average savings through our cards is about 25 cents off per gallon. Um, in, our, in our network, there are over 2,000 fuel stations. Um, we've got about just shy of 100 uh, truck care locations that are, that are included in that network as well. Um, but we have two fuel cards. One of them is, is mainly partnered with, with Pilot Flying J. Uh, there's no credit check. There's you know no fees. Uh, it's free to use, but it's exclusive to Pilot and Flying J. Uh, and then our other fuel card, we have it through Fleet One Network. And um, in that network, I mean, there's you know over a, a thousand different independent um, uh, stations that that help uh, you know cover that uh, fuel card. I've been using uh, Wax Fleet One for uh, about ten years now with RTS discounts. And I, I did a video about like I kind of walk uh, make made a walk through through the system, you know, to explain to viewers how they uh, can manage their fuel in in their system. And you know that it's it's really it's a cool system. You can do a lot of things there with uh, Pilot and Flying J fuel cards. You said there are no fees there, but they are strictly uh, the discounts work with only and but you can still get purchase fuel uh, at other truck stops, right? Yeah, you can. Um, the the savings wouldn't really kick in with the with that card. Uh, it's it's that's our RTS Titan card, and again, it is exclusive to Pilot and Flying J. But with them being the you know it's the largest fuel network in, in America, there's I mean, plenty of locations that that card would be able to um, you know work at and help maximize you know, fuel savings for the carriers. Amel, uh, what is factoring exactly, and uh, why would uh, trucking companies uh, want to implement factoring? Yeah, that's a great question. So factoring, I think uh, the simple way is it's accounts receivable financing. Um, it helps companies with cash flow. I mean, that's, that's the, the, the biggest benefit. And, uh, and then obviously, we also help by doing collections, uh, doing the servicing. Um, you know, so that takes a lot of the pressure off of off of the carriers where they don't have to call the brokers and and chase the paperwork around. That's the service that we provide. Um, But factoring, uh, again, in general, it's accounts receivable financing. It helps companies get the cash flow up front rather than waiting 30, 60, 90 plus days for the broker to pay them. Um, So we, we already have the partnerships with a lot of these brokers and we're able to leverage that. And overall, it just, it makes it much more convenient for the carrier, lets them focus on, you know, other parts of their own business. So, so again, they don't have to worry about invoicing, waiting for, for payments, uh, doing collections, uh, a lot of that back office support. That's what we're able to, to help with factoring. Well, I have done it both ways. I, I've been factoring and I've been sending the invoices directly to brokers. And a great thing about factoring is not only that you get the money right away, you know, like same day or next day, but uh, like you said, you don't have to chase them for uh, payments. But when you're doing invoices, I would always have to go back to the rate confirmation or to the packet and then see where to send the invoice. Is it an email address? Is it uh, a mail? Is it transflow? Uh, or any special instructions that they have? Because most brokers have like different ways of doing things. And then if you don't send it a certain way, they reject it. But with a factoring company, you bundle everything together, you send it to you guys, and then you guys know what to do with it. And, and, and not only that, but you get paid uh, right away. So it, it's, it's, a, it's a great uh, concept in my eyes. Absolutely. Yeah, we already have, like I said, we already have those uh, channels established. 
uh, between you know us, the factoring company, and then the the brokerage. Um, in our in our brokerage system, I mean, we work with over seventy thousand uh, different brokers. So so we're able to you know utilize that, and and like I said, overall, it just makes it a lot more convenient for the carrier. Lets them focus on growing their business and not having to do a lot of that um, you know back and forth uh, back office support. And then one more thing that uh, I'm I'm thinking about right now is payment history and the credit for the brokers. When you're billing brokers directly, you have to find a way to check them out, check check their payment history, if they're reliable, how long have they been in business. But if it's a factoring company, especially with RTS, I know you guys have a, a grading system and you can just log in into the account, right? And, and do all that. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So, I mean, our credit department, they're they are amazing. I mean, they they track brokers on a, on a day-to-day basis. They're able to, you know, analyze financials. They're able to see the trends, you know, if, if a broker's at risk of, let's say, you know, there's a credit risk that, that's that's there, or if a broker is starting to slip on, um, you know, payments, uh, we're able to track that through our credit team. And they provide that through our credit broker system. Uh, and then we, in, in turn, are able to provide that to our carriers. So exactly, like you said, you know, all of our carriers, all of our customers, they have access to our credit broker system. They're able to see in real time how long it takes the broker to pay uh, on average of 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Um, and, and, you know, that we're, we're able to, to help, help keep track of uh, where the brokers are and where they stand. Also, uh, another thing I just skipped. When you're uh, billing uh, brokers directly, uh, it's not that just you have to wait for the payment. I mean, it's all good. You know, you get the, the payment in your name, but like with trucking, you have all these uh, costs, you know, fuel, they, you have to pay for the fuel every day for a maintenance, uh, your payroll uh, and everything else. And then you have to wait. Uh, and then if you have a bad week, or, or a good week, you, you have to wait. And that week is going to reflect uh, a month or two months later when you start g- getting those uh, uh, invoices paid. But with factoring, you, you get it right away and then you can assign that money to a certain expense and you, you can count on that money. You know how much money you're getting every week in your account. And th- that's great. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's able to, you're able to, uh, I guess, budget a a little bit better and, um, you know, just, just plan for the the expenses of of the business. I mean, fuel is going to be the number one expense, but, you know, forbid a truck goes down and and boom, there's, you know, there's maintenance fees you've got to pay there. But uh, overall, I mean, that, that's, that's the the big benefit of factoring is it's able to, we're able to to give the, you know, offer the clients a, a really fast solution, same day, next day payment. They don't have to worry about, you know, waiting 30 plus days from the broker. And then, of course, on the other side, you know, they don't have to worry about doing the invoicing and, and the collections. That's something that we provide. So, And I, I wanted to ask you uh, another thing. This is going to be a longer question. <laughs> How do you think factoring changed uh, now? Like, what, what is it right now? And um, 10, 15 years ago, I remember... I worked for a large company here in Grand Rapids and they work with you guys. Uh, I was a driver for them for like five, six years. I was in dispatching. Uh, they they worked with you and uh, they, they have a high volume. They have like hundred trucks. So I was the one who would usually Wednesday and they would do all the invoices. But at that time, uh, no one had the uh, digital upload yet. Okay, you have to you had to mail them in. Mm -hmm. And I think it was mailed to like Kansas City or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was the one who would uh, gather those invoices. Uh, It was a stack this high. (laughs) And I would have to put it in two uh, UPS envelopes and go to UPS and then overnight it. So you guys get it right away and then pay it, you know, do the wire because it would be on Wednesday because Friday is a payroll day. And it would have to be in their account on Friday. And that was like $150,000 worth of invoices, okay? And it would be every Wednesday, that same procedure, no matter if it's snowing, you know, if I'm busy, you have to, you absolutely have to go and make sure that this is done. Otherwise, you know, no one is getting paid. <laughs> How oh, yeah. did it change from back then for like 10 years ago and now? What, what's the difference? The biggest difference is, is the technology that, that we're able to offer. Um, and that just keeps everything really simple. Uh, you know, they don't have to, nobody has to email, nobody has to send, you know, mail, mail in paperwork or, 
uh, you know, pony mail, for example, that, you know, that might have been a few years uh, prior to that. But now we do everything, you know, uh, from a techno technological level, everything is, is done through the app. And that's what, I mean, it makes it efficient for, for everybody, for you know, each, each party in the transaction. Um, but that, that just really speeds, speeds things through, keeps everything concise. Um, and, and overall, it, you know, it just makes, a, makes everything more effective. So how would, uh, if, uh, let's say I have 10 invoices, how would I proceed? Like I have to send these invoices today and then I have to gather the rate confirmations from the brokers and the, the PODs and put them all together. Do I go to your system? Do I upload them? Uh, do I have to produce my own invoice or how would that work? Can you just tell me a little about yeah. that? Yeah, of course. So the, the only two, I mean, we require two documents. That, that's as simple as the process gets. Um, you know, the, our carriers, they, they pick up the load. They're going to have the rate confirmation on the front end, right? When they drop the load off, they're going to, have, they're going to get the BOL, the bill of lading. They get it signed from the uh, receiver, and that confirms the load is complete. They're done with it. Well, then they just they take those two documents, they go to our app, they upload those two documents or, or take a picture of them, and that's it. They're done. And then from there, our system actually creates the invoice, manually creates the invoice, and then sent, we send it off to the broker. So once they are done with the load, all they have to do is, is, is submit to us the rate confirmation and the BOL. And that's oh, it. Oh, wow. So there is no, because I remember that like some of fact, some factoring companies would have to uh, would make you uh, uh, produce an invoice and then attach it all together and then send it. So none of that anymore. No, we don't. Have, you, with us, we we keep it really simple. Don't have to worry about the invoicing. Um, our system, like I said, manually creates the invoice, and then uh, our our clients are able to, to you know they can download those invoices for their own records. Uh, we, we give very detailed reporting on our portal um to you know that they're able to use but Amel, can you tell us about uh, procedure for brand new uh, trucking companies who are interested in uh, factoring most people are kind of like the people who are new to this industry uh, everything is uh, new and confusing and there are a lot of terms can you tell us a little bit about the procedure like what would it take for them to start to, uh, from the moment uh, of contacting you and applying for it and then uh, to the final moment where everything is set up? How, how would that work? Yeah, so our, our process is, is really simple. We can kind of break down the cycle into three parts. Uh, the first part being the application stage. Um, it's a you know, non-binding uh, form that, that, that we send out. Once you get the application back to us, our, uh, after that, it goes to our, our agreement stage. Uh, after that's of course complete, we're officially in partnership. You know, our legal team uh, goes in; they they do their review, their due diligence, and then uh, once approved on that end, you're on the client carrier is onboarded. Uh, and then onboarding is is very simple. That's where you know I walk them through how to use our app, how to upload. So you know we we do a quick training, and once they're onboarded, they're ready to start factoring. They're ready to you know use the fuel card. They're ready to use our credit broker system and and all the other services that we have. Yeah. Are there any uh, specific requirements for uh, uh, trucking companies that they have to have in order to start factoring with you? Do, do you guys have any any uh, requirements, like any, anything special? I would say the, the only requirement, as long as the, there's no federal tax liens, that would kind of prevent us from, from being able to move forward. Um, you know, we don't have a, a credit uh, credit score requirement. So, you know, even if, if credit might not be the, um, the best at the, at, at this time, oh. that's okay. That's not oh, a disqualifying cool. factor. We can still work with, with the carrier. Um, as far as requirements, I mean, to actually start to factor, we, we the only requirement is, you know, that the, the MC is active, the authority is, is active and, and they're able to, to go over the road. Oh, that's cool. Well, you know, because a lot of people uh, are asking you, well, can I do it? What, what do they need from, from me? Uh, do I have to have a perfect credit score? Uh, stuff like this. So th this will help a lot. Okay. Well, um, I wanted to ask you uh, uh, another question about uh, fuel, if you don't mind. Uh, you guys have uh, fuel discounts. And uh, if you can tell us more about those uh, discounts, about uh, uh, the metrics and uh, the benefits that it brings to uh, trucking companies. Yeah, absolutely. So um, RTS Carrier Services, that's our, our fuel department. They're able to get you know get fuel cards out. 
On average, the, our savings is about 25 cents per gallon, but our, our cards, they, they work at over 2000, you know, fuel networks, um, pilot flying J being, being the largest, uh, of course, they're the largest in, in, in the U S uh, to begin with, but all of our discounts work uh, at, at those stations. And then a lot of the mom and pop stations as well. Uh, we're partnered with the uh, one nine fuel network. Um, they've got over a uh, thousand different independent stations that, that are involved. What really makes it different is, you know, we, we, one of our options, there's no credit check, there's no monthly fee, um, you know, zero fee options. Uh, and the way that the fuel cards work is uh, the, the carrier will get a line of credit. So it would be, let's say, you know, $2,500 line of credit and whatever they use for that week, well, the next week it would pull, you know, that amount from, from, their, uh, from their bank account. Um, so it's a line of credit. Yeah, we've got uh, two two fuel options. They work at, like I said, a lot of the mom and pop stations. And and the real other really cool thing is in our app, RTS Pro, um, our carriers are able to see where the fuel, you know, where the discounts are located. So if they're going from, I don't know, Nashville to Detroit, uh, they can plug that into our app and it would tell them all on that route where, you know, where the best fuel is located. Again, just in general to really be able to maximize on fuel savings. Yeah, I use that app and uh, some of my drivers are using it. It's really nice because I uh, I have been using these cards uh, and your um, discounts for a long time. And then I know a lot how it works, you know, when you uh, your drivers are able to fuel every week and then just use it as a line of credit. And then uh, at, at the end of the week or next week, depending, you know, how it's set up, then it will all be paid, but you don't have to pay it right away. And then mm -hmm. I think uh, like if you were paying with a credit card, it'd be more because your cards, you get same as cash price, right? Yeah, it's cash price instead of the, I think the, the credit price is, is when they use a credit card, there's an extra 3% that's added on there. So uh, there, yeah, the savings are, are, are definitely going to be higher uh, when you use our fuel card versus yeah. a traditional credit card. Amel, thanks for taking time today to explain to our viewers about uh, factoring and the way RTS works. And uh, it's been really a pleasure. Thank you for everything. Absolutely. No, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, thank you for, for having me over for the invite. And yeah, look forward, to, look forward to speaking soon. Okay. So that was our conversation with Amel from RTS Factoring. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something new. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always ask me. And uh, the link is in the description, like I said before, if you want to check them out. And uh, I hope to do more videos like this in future with other people from other uh, services that they can offer to you, uh, whether you're a dispatching company or a, a trucking authority. Uh, I'm already working with a few people, you know, uh, load boards and uh, trucking dispatching softwares and then I like to I would like to call them out and and present to you their services so you can succeed uh, as a dispatcher or uh, as a driver even and uh, make it easier for you in this kind of business like the video share it and then I'll see you soon thanks for watching